last week, I heard rumors of a second certification retiring in 2025, and today, those rumors came true. Microsoft is retiring the SC400 exam, as well as the associated Information Protection and Compliance Administrator Associate Certification. In this video, we'll cover everything that you need to know about this retirement from the date, the reason why Microsoft is doing it, the impact on you, and we'll even talk about the replacement certification. Let's get started. Microsoft just published a blog post on the Microsoft tech community with the title, Validate Critical Information Security Skills with our new certification, which covers a brand new certification they are releasing, more on that shortly, and towards the bottom of the blog post, we have a paragraph saying that we're retiring the information protection and compliance administrator associate certification. Now look, it's a bit crazy to me that, well, unless you follow this channel or go check out so many different places, if you go to the SC400 exam page today or even to the exam and assessments lab retirement page, none of those are marked as retiring. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on important videos such as this one. Anyway, back to our retirement, the SC400 exam, the Information Protection and Compliance Administrator Certification, and the Renewal Assessment will all be retired on May 31st, 2025. So we did get an almost four month notice, which is always appreciated. Now you might wonder, why is Microsoft doing this? Microsoft said that they received consistent feedback regarding the fact that this certification includes two separate roles, data security and information protection, as well as compliance professionals, and that each role should have its own validation solution or own credential. And that's why they are splitting up this certification into two different packs, an information protection pad and a compliance pad. Now, we'll talk about them a bit in the future because uh, those packs are not equal in the way that Microsoft invested in them. But first, let me answer some of the questions that I'm sure you have. First, what if you're currently studying for exam SC400? Look, I'll be honest here. If you're almost done studying and your employer pays for it, just go for it. The certification will show up as expired this time, next year anyway, but it will always remain on your transcript as a certification that you successfully passed. If you're just thinking about it, but you didn't start studying yet, or you don't have, like, say, a bonus attached to it, because uh, a lot of professionals have bonuses attached to certifications, but if you just wanted to do it for fun, you didn't start studying yet, I would recommend looking at the new certification or uh, maybe some of the existing applied skills that we'll talk about in a minute. Now, second question. What happens if you already earned the certification? So if you already passed the exam and you have the certification. Well, if you already have it, check if you can renew it before May 31st, 2025, and then decide if you want to renew it or not. It will end up as expired eventually, whether it's in a few months or in a year or so. It's really up to you if you want to go and renew it so it remains active for another year. Third question, and I get this one a lot because I know a lot of Microsoft partners are watching the channel. What should you do if you're going for the solutions partner for security or other accreditations and you need the certification? Look, the Microsoft Partner Team probably found out about the retirement the same time uh, everybody else did. Uh, so go get the certification and then also work on the replacement certification because there's quite a bit of an overlap. This way, you are good today and you are good for the future as well. I'm sure they will publish updated guidance closer to the actual retirement date, but for now, 
Do not delay your accreditation as a Microsoft partner. Just go take it. Awesome. Now that we have covered uh, the retirement, let's talk replacement. And I have both good and bad news. And this will depend if you're specializing in information protection or compliance. Microsoft is going to release a replacement certification, exam number SC401, which gives you the Microsoft Certified Information Security Administrator certification. This certification completely removes the compliance aspect from the SC400 exam and only focuses on the information protection part of things. I want to keep this video short, but on my channel, you'll find a second video in which we dive deeper into the SC401 certification, the objectives covered, and all that information. Now the bad news. If you were doing the SC400 exam because you specialize in the compliance part of things, Microsoft unfortunately said they aren't creating a new certification for compliance related roles. So the options in front of you are two different applied skills. The first one is the implement retention, e-discovery and communication compliance in Microsoft Purview applied skill. And the second one is the implement information protection and data loss prevention by using Microsoft Purview applied skill. Now, this is it for this short video, but I want to know, what do you think about the retirement of the SC400 exam and associated information protection and compliance administrator associate certification? Do you agree that those roles should have been separated or do you think that role together information protection and compliance uh, really made sense? Please let me know in the comments below and if you want to learn more about the SC401 exam that's replacing the SC400, make sure you check out the cards appearing on your screen right now or check out the links in the description below. And if you missed it, did you know exam DP203 is also getting retired in a few months? And of course, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel to get the latest Microsoft certification news.